I got every workout from 1983 until 1997. Every single workout, every rep, every set. Preparation notes for Mr. Olympia and all these things. This worked, this didn't work. So very analytical, writing everything, analyzing, studying. His training diary was his life, and that was him. He knew if he followed X, it would equal Y, and, it, and that's what's been proven. He totally believed what he was doing was right. He had no doubts. That's half the battle. If you believe in something, you, you can make it happen. Blood and guts is just to the level where no one's willing to go. I mean, that's, that's what it's about. Turn the body inside out, no matter what it takes. He wasn't going to stop. He was a train. Can you talk about uh, the last surgery that you had? Because I think everybody was kind of shocked seeing you, you know, not yeah, able to walk. Yeah, well, <laughs> actually, I got, to, I, I got to show you these screws, too. Mm -hmm. What happened was they uh, put in four screws because the discs were, you know, shifting forward and pushing up against my nerves, so they had to uh, clamp them together, and, and they used these screws. Uh, to, to hold them together and so they wouldn't slip forward. Well, anyway, those screws ended up breaking. <laughs> and in the process of breaking, they broke bones in my back. So in that process, uh, kept me where I couldn't, I mean, it got, the pain got so bad where I couldn't even walk, you know. And then after I broke those bones, it just got to the point where, you know, I would, for the most part, I was on crutches and uh, if I wasn't on crutches, I was on a wheelchair. If I mm -hmm. wasn't in the wheelchair, I was doing a walker. So uh, then, then uh, he had to fix the, uh, the 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 broken bones and the the screws that had broken. Mm -hmm. He had to take all those screws out and put in bigger screws. So in the process of fixing all that, he ended up putting in six screws. Two cages, the cages were so big, they were about this big around, wow. around my disc to hold them, keep them from sliding forward. Because like I said, once you take that, take one can out, all of them mm -hmm. start falling. And uh, put in two cages, uh, put in like three, two or three uh, spaces in between the discs. So uh, in all, the surgery lasted almost 13 hours because uh, He'd have to <clears throat> cut me in the back and put in some parts, mm -hmm. put in screws and put in spaces. Then he had to roll me over, you know, and then cut me on the side and put in these big old cages. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and after all of that, you know, <laughs> not only could I not walk, I couldn't even lift my legs. I couldn't even raise my foot up off the floor to uh, walk. So I stayed in the hospital for like a whole month, just, wow. uh, yeah, trying to get better <clears throat> and uh, trying to deal with the pain. The pain was so bad that pain medication didn't work. So I didn't sleep for, uh, for a little while there, <laughs> being in pain wow. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And it was real bad, you know, but uh, I made it through all that. and. Uh, Graduate, uh, started out in a wheelchair, did that for a while, then I graduated to a walker, did that for a while, and then, then uh, I got to the point where I got the crutches, did that, doing that for a while, and I'm still on crutches, but for the most part, uh, I can walk around the house like short distances, but I use the crutches for like when I have to walk for like long distances and stuff mm -hmm. like that, so. Mm -hmm. uh, I can say I've uh, come a long way from you know not being able to raise my foot up and, and take a, take a step. <laughs> I got that right. on video. To uh, you know wheelchair getting around in a wheelchair everywhere I go, and then uh, getting around in a walker, mm -hmm. and then uh, got to the crutches. Mm -hmm. And of course I'm still there, and but you know I've gotten to the point where I can walk short distances and stuff, and uh, I can say. I'm getting better. My legs are still numb. You know that's why I have to use the crutches. But and you, you're back at the gym. Yeah, I'm back in the gym, and I can, 
I can work legs and stuff, but I just can't work go real heavy. But I've gotten a lot stronger. I started out with one twenty-five pound plate on the leg press, to, uh, <laughs> like four uh, forty-five pound plates. So I'm getting stronger, you know, every day. And do you, do you feel pressure? Do you have to work up? Obviously, people know he's running Coleman. You know, do you feel like you you want to maintain the the, the, the no, I, I I feel like as long as I can make progress, I'm doing good. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> like I said, I've come a long way from walking, uh, being in that wheelchair to you uh, using that walker and to the crutches to being able to walk on my own, you know, like short distances. Because for a while there, I, I couldn't walk without the crutches at all. So now I can... I can walk short distances with the crutch, without the crutches, but like I said, when I have to, when I leave the house, I always take them with me. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I never know when I'm gonna have to walk real long distance. Some don't recover from that. The doctor told me some people just stay in a wheelchair; they can't yeah, recover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, but I've uh, been real fortunate, and uh, you know, uh, when I. First, got out of the hospital, both of my legs were numb. Now I got to the point where just one is numb. Mm -hmm. And it started from my feet all the way up. Well, uh, <clears throat> it's just right starting at my knee right now. So mm -hmm. uh, it, it, the numbness is going, going away slowly. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember when I had my neck done, uh, the doctor told me it was going to take two years for the numbness to go away. And I remember two years to the date, the numbness went away totally oh. in my neck and stuff. Mm -hmm. and I had neck surgery where they put in a f they did fusion. They put in these uh, spacers. I got like these big old plastic spacers uh, mm -hmm. in like four, five, and six. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> on my in my uh, neck. So uh, yeah. So I know that if uh, my neck can recover and the numbness can go away there, that uh, I can recover also on my legs and stuff. I read an interview with you where somebody asked you, you know, do you regret anything? And you said, yeah. And you said you actually re you wanted to work out harder. Even. Yeah, I remember <laughs> I was when I was squatting 800. I, I I didn't think I could do uh, two reps. I knew I could get at least one, but I I went down. And I got. Two, because the first one was real, real light. It didn't even feel like 800. It felt like, like 400. <laughs> and I remember going down for the second one. I was like, I'm going to go a little bit lower. So I went back down lower, and I was like, man, I can, I can get a few more of these. But I'm like, I better not, you know, because <laughs> the Olympia is coming up, and I don't want to mm -hmm. hurt myself where I can't do the Olympia. Mm -hmm. So I just say, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to be satisfied with my two and, and, and go on. And uh, now that I knew I could have done four, that's the only regret that I pretty much have, that I didn't go ahead and do like, I think I could have got five with 800. I could have got five <laughs> reps. I think I could have got five easy reps. But I, went, I, I, did, I did the 800 uh, squat, and then I went to the leg press, mm -hmm. and I put 2,300 on there, and I got eight reps there. So that kind of made up for me not doing the five reps on the uh, squat. So uh -huh. I think if I'd have got five reps uh, with the 800, I wouldn't have been able to get 2,300 for eight. I mm -hmm. probably would have got like three or four. <laughs> right. So what, I kind of made up for it there. 